So I rank the best side hustles this year so you don't have to. We're gonna go deep into the nuts and bolts of each of these businesses, whether they're beginner friendly, what the learning curve looks like, and of course, how much money you can make. All right, so number one, vending machines. Now, vending machines are a fairly accessible business model that just about anybody can get into. So it's great for beginners, but there definitely is a cost associated with this business. So just to get in the door, just to get in the game, you're gonna need to at least invest two to three thousand dollars into a machine. You're gonna have to know how to negotiate with business owners, set up a location. And of course, there's the time factor. You're gonna have to travel to these machines, make sure they're stocked, collect the money. So it's not super scalable, even though this is a very simple business model. And the average income for something like this is anywhere from 5,000 a year to 7,000 a year per machine. Now you can scale it up, have a bunch of different machines, but I'd say for beginners, this isn't the best business model to start. So for that reason, I'm gonna mark this a C. It's kind of hard to get into, so I won't rank it very high. Number two, ATMs. Now, ATMs are very similar to vending machines, and it seems like you can make a bit more profit, but the numbers actually tell a different story. So the initial income is about the same as vending machines. It's a little bit higher, but you also not only need to buy the machine, which is about the same as a vending machine, but you need to stock it with thousands of dollars. And that can be problematic. If you're a beginner, you're trying to start a business online, investing into something like this may be difficult. I know I wanted to start something like this, either a vending machine or an ATM that I could easily get some passive income going while I was working my nine to five, but I realized the time that it takes to invest in this plus the initial cash investment was definitely a barrier for me to get started. So it wasn't something that I wanted to pursue. So technically I'd rank this a little bit higher than vending machines, but there's also security risk. So if you're taking out thousands of dollars at a time, that's gonna be something where you need to look over your shoulder when you're going to your car, especially if it's late at night, it could get sketchy. So I'm gonna say C, it's hard to get into. Not everybody can invest in something like this. So. I'm gonna put this a more mid-tier level. Uh, next up, TikTok. So TikTok, NPCs, live streams, we've all seen this and really anybody can start a TikTok account. It's pretty beginner friendly. All you do is sign up and you're ready to go. But the barrier to entry here is your content, how engaging you are. Can you captivate an audience? And quite frankly, do you wanna do this NPC kind of stuff online? I know I personally don't, so um, I'm gonna rank this a D level, uh, the dog sh level. So, you know, you'll need to understand algorithms, things like creating compelling content, if you wanna generate a consistent income. And I've seen people online claim that they've made as much as 5,000 to $7,000 a day doing this, which sounds great, but that's not the norm. Most people don't make that kind of level. So we're gonna rank this a D. Uh, next up is Uber. So Uber really isn't a business, but it's definitely a side hustle. I know a lot of people maybe do this as their first means to make money on the side. Uh, it's an excellent option for beginners, but it's really as simple as signing up, passing a background check if you can, and driving your vehicle. So it's pretty simple. The earnings are immediate and you can earn anywhere from 10 to $30 an hour. There's not much of a learning curve, but your time is really the limiting factor here. You can't scale this operation because it directly correlates to your time. So some of the other businesses that we'll talk about later in this video have a more scalable option, which will rank them higher. So we're not trading our time for dollars, which is definitely something to consider if you're building a side hustle and trying to build actual wealth. So this isn't a passive business by any means. So if you need some extra cash, this could be a good option. Uh, we're gonna rank this C as it's simple to get into, but it's not really scalable. Uh, next up is DoorDash. So actually you make less as a DoorDash person than Uber, uh, there's lower tips. Typically the fares and fees are a bit lower. Um, so it's another beginner friendly platform. You can absolutely get into this quick way to make cash. Um, you really just sign up and you don't even need a car. If you live in a more densely populated area, you could just be driving, you could be walking. Um, this isn't something that requires a large barrier to entry. So DoorDash could be a great option for people. I'm gonna rank this a C as well, slightly lower than uh, Uber, but it's definitely an option. If you're in a pinch, you can make some cash quickly and maybe save up to invest in some of these other businesses 
that I'll talk about here. Uh, next up is YouTube. So starting a YouTube channel, just like TikTok, anybody can start one, very accessible. Succeeding on the other hand is a different story. So I've been doing YouTube for many, many years at this point. I've had a couple different YouTube channels and I feel like I'm just starting to crack the algorithm, to be honest. One of my videos on my personal channel is about to crack a million views, which is crazy, but I've been video editing and storytelling and creating content since I was in high school. So this isn't a super beginner friendly platform. If you have a story, you enjoy video editing, you enjoy storytelling, you like figuring out the algorithm, this could be a great option for you. And it's really scalable. Like some people make a few hundred bucks a month, others can make hundreds of thousands per month, depending on your audience and your ability to monetize. So this isn't a quick, cash grab by any means, but it's definitely more scalable than the others. So for that reason, I'm gonna rank this a B just because of the scalability. Um, and I'd recommend doing what we did, you know, start a simple cash flow business, maybe document your journey, pick up some necessary skills along the way, like video editing, learning SEO, how to write copy, and then you can make this a more viable income stream in the future. We'll rank it fair a B. Next up is Shopify. Now Shopify, the average income of stores can be anywhere from 40,000 a year to a hundred thousand a year it's somewhat of a beginner friendly model simply because the user face is pretty easy you don't have to learn how to code you can just drag and drop build a store and you're ready to go the only challenge here is that running the back end of the business is a lot more difficult than just standing up the store standing up the store pretty easy running ads on the back end dealing with marketing strategies customer service inventory all of those things can be challenging for anybody just coming off the street however the earning potential is scalable and it could be a solid choice for those willing to invest the time and money um, just keep in mind in order to get sales you're gonna have to run ads therefore it costs money to run it so it is scalable not super beginner friendly so i'm going to rank this a b we've tried shopify stores like this before made them profitable i've helped clients go from zero to 50k on shopify uh, but again it takes money to make money you got to fuel the machine with ads in order to get the sales so we'll rank it a b uh, next up is smma now social media marketing agencies and really social media marketers can earn anywhere from 70 to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year so the skill set is very high in demand and business owners, people who actually run an agency can make even more. I would know my business partner and I did over seven figures this year through our social media marketing agency. And it is an excellent option for people who are trying to get high income and have that scalability. However, it does take some skills. You need to understand digital marketing, client management, fulfillment, things like that. But the beautiful thing about this model and what we really enjoyed, because I was working nine to five, I was looking at all these options and I really didn't have a ton to invest to keep the machine going where a social media marketing agency was something where I could just learn some skills, not spend any money other than just learning how to do it. And then I could charge my clients thousands of dollars per month. I'd also say this is a great first business because almost all of these businesses on this list or any business you decide to start in the future will require some amount of marketing or social media marketing skills that you can deploy against something else in the future. So overall, if I'm going to rank this, I would say that it's a valuable skill set. It's highly scalable. It's a low barrier to entry in terms of cost other than just simple education. And we actually have a program, the SMMA Blueprint, that you can check out in the links below. Uh, but I'm going to rank this in A just purely for the simplicity of the business model, how it's easy for beginners to get in, and the scalability for sure. Drop shipping. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about drop shipping. It sounds easy, right? You pick a store, you don't buy the product. It's a little bit better than Shopify because you don't actually hold the inventory. You just ship directly from the manufacturer. It's easy to start, but sustaining it is a challenge. So David and I, we thought we could do this as well. We started a business online, started making some income income, but realized that after we sold some products, we had to keep running the ads, keep investing, and our profit margins were very, very low. I think the average is about 10 to 20%. So it makes it difficult to really scale this unless you have capital to deploy, which we didn't have at the time. So if you have some extra funds, some social media marketing skills, you might be able to make this profitable. But for someone who's never started a store, it might not be as easy as people make it out to be. And I would also say to make the drop shipping model work in the long run, you'll need to be chasing trends with products, building brand, where customers come back to you over and over and it's not just a one trick pony. Like they actually enjoy the brand, they come back to you and they're bought in. For those reasons, I'm gonna rank this a C. 
definitely below YouTube, SMMA, Shopify stores. Um, it's kind of in this beginner level. A lot of people try it, don't really go a long way with it. Um, so we're gonna rank that the C level. Next up is flipping on Facebook. So flipping products is essentially finding cheap items that are either very inexpensive or free on the Facebook marketplace and turning those around and listing it at a higher value. Now you might find a lot of motivated buyers. People are trying to move quickly and they need to list it as free, but it's an actual really nice product or it's a nice piece of furniture and you can turn it around and sell it for 20, 50, $100, whatever the value is worth. You might also find some products products that are in rough condition and could just really use some elbow grease, get it cleaned up, and then you could turn it around for a profit. Now, this is a great way to start a business with basically no investment at all. However, it is time consuming. So your time is gonna be directly correlated to how much you can make with this. So I'd rank this similar to Uber just purely because of the time and scalability factor, but it's really a great business to start if you're just getting started. So I would actually say it's like a C plus level if that was on this list. And the average income as well is about 10 to $30,000 a year. So not huge, but it is something you can do. Uh, uh, last up here is real estate. So this is something that David and I are deploying cash into right now. We've been stockpiling over the years. This isn't a beginner friendly model. While you can yield high returns if you buy, flip and invest, but at the end of the day, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it's not for somebody who's trying to get a quick return. This is definitely like a longer term strategy. You want property value to increase. You want home values to increase over time, sometimes years before you get a return. So this is more of like our retirement strategy instead of, hey, how can we make $50,000 in the next two weeks? Like land, houses, the value is always going up over time. So it's a great uh, business model, but I would say for a beginner, I gotta put it at the D level just because purely it's gonna cost a lot of money to get in the game. A lot of you don't have that. So I would start somewhere with like SMMA, Shopify stores, YouTube channels, easy to get into low cost options. But really there's a lot of side hustles out there. And if you like this kind of content, like the video and we'll definitely do a part two where we can explore some more businesses. There's more on here on this list and there's plenty more out there than just these 10. Definitely like the video, we'll do it again. We'll do the part two. And if you're looking to start a social media marketing agency, check out the SMMA blueprint. It's over 120 modules that we put together. It's the highest ranked course on the market. The links will be in the description. And if you're aggressively trying to start a SMMA today, I've got an action packed video that's gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video here. I'll see you over there.